3,200 points. Oh. Dusty is in second with 2,900. Oh. And Sarah's in third with 2,800. Oh. We're all doing great. It's come to that time of the show where one of our guests must be eliminated. Oh. Oh. Despite the internet giving us access to all the information in the world, humans have never felt more confident being dumb. <laughs> so we're turning the decline of human intellect into a game called Wrong Answers Only. <laughs> Panelists, I'm gonna give you a topic and for 500 points, you'll buzz in with a very wrong answer, misexplaining what it is. And yes, misexplaining is a word. <laughs> First topic. What is love? <laughs> Wrong answers only. Sarah. What Dusty's gonna find on The Bachelor. Uh, right. That's what I'm talking about. We're so sorry, Dusty's wife. Right. neck bachelor. We're so sorry. <laughs> Dusty. All right, what meth feels like. <laughs> okay, you know what I mean. London. That thing Donald Trump's parents didn't give him. Oh. It's a shame. It's a shame. And up next. Oh, Kool-Aid man. Wrong answers, please. London. Santa Claus's black cousin. Uh, <laughs> I don't understand the answer, but uh <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> I think this is really Mr. Pitcher, you know what I mean? You can put whatever liquid in there you want. I mean <laughs> Sure, it's Kool-Aid today, but it's sweet tea tomorrow. I mean, let's not, you know, let's not tie this guy down. That's so good. Sarah? Uh, this is a character from TV that people used to talk about, but they don't talk about him anymore because he's on Ozempic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, up next. Uh, <laughs> Nun trucks. What are those not? Dusty. Oh, whoops, I broke this stick, and I don't really know how to put it back together, so. <laughs> I'll take this chain off my wallet, and then I'll... <laughs> Sarah. When you have no more chucks. <laughs> OK. All right. London. Karate for gay men. <laughs> Sarah. This is something Japanese men carry with them at all times. And you said wrong answers, and that was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Next image. <laughs> Taco trucks. Wrong oh, yeah. answers only. Sarah. The only way to travel. <laughs> uh, uh, the safest way to eat meat. <laughs> Sarah. This is also known as a Hyundai Tostada. <laughs> <laughs> An ice cream truck, but for drunk people. Yeah. It's, like, it's better than a taco car, you know, because you got a lot more space in there. <laughs> taco car, you can't really serve a lot of tacos, but a taco truck, I mean, you can haul people around. <laughs> Tow a boat if you need to. You get a taco boat in there with it, too. Well done, everybody. Oh, my IQ has been drastically lowered. <laughs> Sarah's in second with 7,300. And London is in third with 7,200, just barely in third. Oh, I just feel like you need to do this to me during Black History Month. <laughs> I do love you, though. Unfortunately, <laughs> London has the lowest point, so it looks like you have to go. I know, I know. Before you go, please tell us what you learned about yourself by competing on this show. <laughs> I have learned that the camera loves me way more than I love myself. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Well done, London. Take care. <laughs> I know. Oh, man. Dang. It's so close. That this is like the closest scores we've ever had. It's crazy. Mm. We love now, it, but we do love a winner. <laughs> <laughs> we love a winner. 
<laughs> now our remaining two panelists will face off in our final round. It's for the win. <laughs> this Sunday, we'll be doing a special Super Bowl edition of After Midnight. <laughs> It's a perfect fit. Both are highly competitive and require tons of strategy to win. <laughs> One of the most engaging parts of football is the strategy, specifically the plays. For example, this one from the Chiefs. <laughs> yeah, look at all those angry little circles. <laughs> Ooh, they're so mad. <laughs> for tonight's For the Win, our two remaining panelists are going to come up with their own game-winning special plays by drawing them on the whiteboards we provided. The audience will vote and we'll crown a winner when we come back. Don't be a coward. Stick around. 